Hey guys, it's Jenny. Welcome back once again to Solid Gold. Now, in addition to all of the stuff that's going on with my fish room and all of those building plans and all of that, I have a new project that is getting started this month and I'm really excited about it. I was recently approached by Greg Whitstock. He's the CEO of Aquascape. He has a small YouTube channel called The Pond Guy where he uh, takes you along with all of his pond builds and all that. But Aquascape is a company that's been around for a pretty long time now and they're one of the biggest, or maybe the biggest, I don't know, uh, manufacturers of pond supplies. Basically he said that he has seen my channel, he likes what I'm doing with my fish room and all my other animals and he wants to help me out and come build a pond here on my property for my channel and make videos about it and put some fish in it and it'll be a whole thing and I said that sounds amazing so I'm gonna be working with Kathy Smith from Tropical Water Gardens she is my nearest uh, local uh, pond contractor that works with Aquascape products and funny thing is I actually already knew Kathy I've known her for a couple of years now she's a super sweet lady so today I get to go over to her place and actually see some of her work in person for the first time talk to her about it look at her fish look at all the beautiful ponds and water features she has on display in her own yard and then she's gonna come back here with me to my yard look at my space and help me plan an idea of a placement and a location for the pond that they're gonna build for me and that's gonna happen later this month so let's go I'm here today with Kathy Smith of tropical water gardens to check out her work she'll be the one installing the pond in my yard in just a couple of weeks here so let's check out some of the ponds that she has in her yard here on display they're absolutely beautiful there's even like a little two level deck back behind me there with overlooking a beautiful pond with beautiful fish of course all the fish are hiding right now it's like 33 degrees this morning so all the fish are hiding but let's go say hi to Kathy hey Kathy hi. Hi, so this is your beautiful yard with your awesome ponds that you guys all built yourselves right yes, yes. this is we so did. cool can you tell us a little bit about this pond okay well this pond was my first aquascape pond um, after I started building ponds as a business uh, we put this pond in October of 2006 so it's been and almost... so it's been just over just over 11 years since this pond is, was put in. And this pond was remodeled uh, last year, about this time, November, or I mean, December, January, a uh, uh, year ago, we took out uh, the original waterfall, made it wider and um, just more appealing. It had a skimmer over here under where the bridge is, and we took the skimmer out and made it um, with a with a low edge with a waterfall going into an underground basin yeah so the underground basin is that something unique that you do or, or not that many there, people do it right there, there aren't a whole lot of people that do it um, typically there somebody's going to have a skimmer um, to house the pump okay and we like to do it uh, this way it makes it more sustainable so whenever whenever it's raining the water level is rising down in the basin and so that it evaporates in there. The water level changes within the basin and it makes the pond so that the water level is always the, typically we, we build it at a two foot depth. So the water level never changes within the pond. And the fish are all hiding this morning. The fish are hiding. It's a little chilly, but you can kind of see them hanging out under those floating plants. I don't know, maybe you down, can't. Down under there, not moving very, <laughs> no. very fast at they're, all. They're too cold, just yeah, like us. Yeah. <laughs> and what a gorgeous little two-level deck. This would be just a beautiful place to like come out here, sit down when the weather's a little warmer, preferably, <laughs> and enjoy the beautiful water feature. This is awesome. We're at the other side of Kathy's yard now where we have how many other ponds? There are three ponds here. Three other ponds. You go through this cute little walkway. Oh, look at the bridge on this one. That's so cute. Did you build the bridge and everything yeah, yourself yeah, too? Yeah, yeah. That's really cool. Wow. A little stream. Another little waterfall. You guys are so good at the waterfalls. <laughs> the spring of 2006, um, my husband and I wanted to have, we, we kept watching, you know, on TV and saw the, the Home and Garden channel and everybody was having a water feature. Yeah. And I had no idea what that was. Mm -hmm. So um, <clears throat> I started researching it, went to a home show, couldn't really afford to do what what the guy wanted there so I mm -hmm. just looked it up online and I decided to do it all, all by myself. I had these really teeny tiny skimmers and biofalls and 
everything was great. My goal was to have my tropical garden done by Mother's Day of that year of 2006, which we accomplished it. So I got to spend Mother's Day in my tropical garden and within about two weeks, the water turned pea soup green. Mm -hmm. And the fish had to be in the top couple of inches of water hmm. to see them. So I figured there had to be a better way. So I went back to researching online and found out about Aquascape at that point. They had a, a how to start your water garden business class down, oh, okay. in, down in South Florida. Um, so I went to that and, and then when I decided to turn it into a business, I spent five weeks up in Virginia working with Virginia Water Gardens. So this doesn't just happen by accident. You've spent a lot of time learning about yes, this. Yes, to learning how to do it the right way. And it's all filtration. I mean, we, we build ecosystem ponds, so the whole pond becomes a filter. There is so much water movement here. Like, you guys can just hear it, yeah. even in the audio. So that's that's going to be really good for, like, water quality, right? Just to have all that water moving that, that through the filtration constantly. Right, and, and and with all the waterfalls, it adds all the oxygen in there that, that the fish need and the bacteria needs to, to mm -hmm. stay alive, all that, the oxygen. Plus and the nice, water is nice to good. listen to. It is. It's relaxing. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Is, there's a, yeah, <laughs> yeah, the kitties I got to get that. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. Oh, I got distracted by a cat. What else is new? This system has a skimmer, which is down here. Okay. And the skimmer <clears throat> collects debris and, from the water surface? And the surface. collects the debris. The pump, okay. the pump is it down in the skimmer. So and that then, rock is covering it, that fake so rock? So that fake, fake rock lid is covering the skimmer. You so wouldn't even know that's down there. In there. Exactly. Oh, I see so what you mean by skimmer, cleaning it so out now. There's a basket okay. and it just the leaves get will get stuck in there. Yeah. And then you just pull the basket out and dump the leaves out oh, and put it back in. We have one pump splitting between two separate biofalls and the, the one biofalls is on this little pond here. What's a biofall? The biofalls is the, biofalls. the the black tub that's under here. Oh. That, that's the bi the uh, biological filter. Oh, very um, nice. That starts the waterfall, so it's an upflow filter. So this is a aesthetically, it's a really nice waterfall, but it's also functional. Yes, to absolutely. filter the water. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's so cool. Yeah, it's an, an upflow filter. It, 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 the water goes up, comes in the bottom, and goes up through two filter mats, and then a bag of bio balls that has the surface area for the beneficial bacteria to grow. And that waterfall basin with the filter media in it, is that an Aquascape yes. product? Mm -hmm. That's yes, a really good idea. Kathy, I, I don't see any fish in here. What's well, going on? <laughs> well, right now, because, well, put, because of the cold, they're hiding, but I also, I build, uh, when I build the rock walls in the pond, I use drain six inch drain pipe and we make fish tunnels behind the rock wall. It's open on each end so that the fish can go in there and hide if they feel threatened. So not oh. only in this case do they have the protection from the uh, having the fishing line around there, which is doing a pretty good job, but they also have a place to hide. Mm -hmm. um, and, and in the summer too, they, they'll they go hide in the tunnel just to get out of the sunlight because yeah. it can get, it can get hot. pretty hot. In addition to the fish tunnels, you also have some fishing line up? So we, we have the fishing line. In, in past years, we would make a PVC frame and put a net over it um, over the whole pond over the over the whole pond okay and and that's to keep to protect the fish from the heron um, the heron found us many many years ago mm -hmm. and i have a saying that there is an x over our property on the heron road map <laughs> on flight map and it and then because we'll have multiple herons show up here every year and once they find it they and won't once forget they, uh, absolutely yeah. and and we have a problem with the heron from october through april sometimes longer if we have a really dry spring and i think that's because there's so many migrating down here even though we have them here year round mm -hmm. i think that with all the ones migrating here for the winter we just have an overabundance of them and with the water temperatures in the lakes and retention ponds getting cold the fish are going to go really really deep and the heron may not be able to get them Oh. So our backyard ponds are easy targets. Oh yeah, for sure. So this year I saw another contractor post pictures that they had fishing line around it. I thought, well, let's try that because it looks a lot better. I yeah, mean, it's, it's not, way more minimal. It, yeah, right. And it's open and you can still interact with the fish when they're, when they're out and yep. rather than having the, the net over it. And it's, it's worked out very well. Um, there really are fish in there. <laughs> so I have been building ponds since, uh, well, I started as, a, as just a hobby, um, spring of 2006, turned it into a business in July of that year. So uh, oh. 11 and a half years That's as a business. A Typically in the winter time, it's very, it's a downtime. We don't mm -hmm. really 
We're not building. It's like um, <laughs> it's like 33 degrees. Who's thinking who's of thinking putting about it? Right. Except for me, I guess, because I'm just weird like and, that. And and um, <laughs> and we did a really big one in Longwood, um, which is probably probably my favorite pond. Um, it's a 15 by 29 oh, foot wow. pond, and it's That's three huge. three feet deep, and he snorkels in it. Oh my god! Yes, it is so cool. I have pictures of him. And he has. I bet he has and, big koi in there. Um, well, we put they're they're they will be big. Yeah, it's it's only be. it's you know we, we started them small and mm -hmm. and, um, um, and he snorkels and he snorkels in there. It was <laughs> With designed. A GoPro? Uh, he should. I, if he I, does I it. don't know that if he's ever actually had a camera down he really in there. Needs to. All right, thank you so much, Kathy, for showing me around all your beautiful ponds. It's been really really You're cool welcome. To see. It's great having you out here. Now let's head over to my place, okay? So we can check out what I'm working with. You're okay. not going to be too enthused about my yard. It's just. Just a basic normal yard, but there's a lot of places where the pond could go, okay. and I need your insight into what would make the where best would be location. the best place. Okay, yeah. that sounds good. All right, let's go. All right, see you there. <laughs> All right, I'm here in my yard with Kathy. You can see the fish room behind us. I gave her a little tour of that already. What's yeah. your favorite animal out there? Oh my goodness. Well, I love the uh, the frogs. The frogs. The the dark frogs? Dark, the, yes, mm -hmm. the, I, I love the color, and, yeah. but, but the, the leopard, leopard gecko mm -hmm. yeah, are really neat too, so it's hard yeah. to pick a favorite. <laughs> and you hadn't really seen either of those no, before, No, I've never seen That's them cool. before. I love no. introducing people to new pets. Yeah. So we're just checking out uh, the space that I have available here. What are you thinking as far as pond placement? So we, we want the pond close to where you live, so with your, your nice little porch here so that you can enjoy it. I think this, this area right here to have the waterfall on this side going into the pond that way you're going to see the waterfall from your your living room and kitchen area mm -hmm. and then when you come out on the on your your porch here then the pond you know right right in this area okay and, um, so what you're telling me is i have to so, move all this junk so i think yeah, that's gonna have to move <laughs> We couldn't go over here because I have a septic system underground there, so that kind of rules that out. Don't want to be digging up any yeah, of that. No, we don't want to dig that up. Not <laughs> so at all. it'll just go right here, right here in this area. just right in front of my little yeah. screen porch area. That'll be really nice, and we'll hear the trickling water as I'm sitting out there. Yep. It's gonna be beautiful. Yep. Oh, it'll be nice. Well, thank you again so much, Kathy. This oh, has you're been welcome. Really thank fun. you. I'm it's even more. Great. I'm even more excited now yeah. about getting a pond after seeing your beautiful work. Oh, thank so. you. And if anyone is in the DeLand area, or how far out do you go from DeLand? Um, we usually travel about an hour, Palm okay. Coast, Orlando, okay. um, out into Lake County. So if anyone's in that area, Kathy at Tropical Water Gardens is a great pond contractor. Definitely check out their website and uh, give them a ring if you're interested in a pond. All right, guys. Well, Kathy just left, and I have to say, after meeting with her, talking about it, seeing examples of her work at her place, I am like... Like 10 times more excited now than I even was to begin with because I can actually visualize you know I can visualize it now because I saw it at her place I can kind of visualize that same kind of setup here in my yard and it's gonna be awesome and beautiful and I'm so excited <laughs> so Kathy and her crew and also Greg from Aquascape and I think he's bringing one other person they're all gonna come here I think it's gonna be five people total they're all gonna come here I think on January 25th tentatively and build this pond in one day you guys that's pretty nuts usually they take like two to three days for a pond build like this but they want to get it done all in one day so it's going to be insane and i'm of course going to show you guys the entire thing the entire process in videos so you'll get to experience everything right along with me and uh see this all come together it's going to be awesome so stay tuned for that guys that'll be probably at the very end of this month that you'll see that all come together so get excited and thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Until then, stay gold.